What is up, everybody? I'm Get Flanked. Today, I'm going to be giving some tips on how new players can find the right sensitivity and keybinds for them in Rainbow Six Siege. Now, anytime you're talking about sensitivity, you're going to be talking about some personal preference. Different people prefer different sensitivities. But I do have some drills here that'll hopefully be a shortcut for you to find your comfort zone in the game. I think the best place to start is to go into keybinds. We'll talk about a few things there and how to actually adjust your sensitivity. And then we'll go over some drills in game that'll help you find uh, if it's right for you or not. So we're gonna go to options and we're gonna go to controls. And the first thing right here is this is how you actually adjust your sensitivity. Now, this is adjusting your sensitivity when non ADS. That's, that's what these numbers are. So this is this sensitivity. This is ADS sensitivity, all right? Going back into options here. So this is where I have mindset. Now, here is where you adjust ADS sensitivity. And you've got two options. You've got standard. This is going to um, give you one option as far as adjusting your sensitivity. And keep in mind that when you do this, you're adjusting an overall sensitivity. And then it, all these sensitivities will be different. Even though they show um, uh, the same number here, the amount of, that you move with one time scope is going to be different than a 1.5, 2.0, 2.5. Okay. It's going to kind of adjust your sensitivities across the board there. You also have an advanced, which is what I use. And this allows you to adjust your sensitivities on each of these magnifications manually. There are websites that you can go to and will give you kind of a number. You can type in your base sensitivity. And if you want your sensitivity to be to be the same across all these magnifications, it'll give you numbers that you type in here. That's how I did this, and that's what I prefer. Um, so you have to kind of decide what you want there. And again, that's gonna be personal preference. Uh, going down into some other uh, uh, adjustments you can make here, gadget deployment, okay? This is important. I, I prefer advanced, and this is what I recommend because when you deploy your gadget with advanced, you, you can hold it in your hands and then decide where you wanna put it. Whereas with standard, you kinda hit the button and then it deploys when you hit the button. And advanced is just gonna give you a little bit more control over where you're placing gadgets, and I think that's important. Drone deployment, I recommend advanced as well. The difference between standard and advanced here is that with advanced, when you throw out a drone, it's not going to put you into the observation automatically. You have to hit another button to go into the observation. So this gives you the ability to bait with your drone. If you think an enemy is close, you can throw a drone out and see if maybe that causes them to push you and then you can have your sights up. Um, also, if you throw your drone out and see an enemy come around a corner, you won't go into the observation automatically and you can still fight back. So I think that's important. The only other thing that I really want to talk about here is under customized controls. And this is where you go and you can mess with all of your keybinds. The one thing that I do recommend that you change no matter what is secondary gadget. Okay. I think that you should put this on your mouse if you're a PC player, because this is how you throw grenades. And if it, it by default, it's going to be on G. And if you leave it on G, then when you pull out a grenade, it makes it really tough to strafe right and hold the grenade. So I put it on my mouse, that way I can pull the grenade, hold it, and I still have full control of my character while I'm holding the uh, the, the, uh, the grenade. I think that's really important. Uh, as far as one thing I'll talk about here regarding uh, controller options, the dead zones is something that you definitely wanna get in there and mess with. It has to do with how much you move your stick in order before it starts registering movement okay so that's going to be personal preference again i just think there's a lot of confusion over what player over what that does okay uh just know that if you have it very low then you're going to you know be moving pretty much as soon as you move the controller stick if you have it higher then it's going to give you a little bit of wiggle room in your controller stick there before it registers the movement all right Let's get back into training grounds here and talk about some drills to help you zero in on that sensitivity. Now you know where to adjust it. Here's what I like to do. I like to find two random objects on the map. So we'll pick this tree and this tree, and we're going for the actual trunks of the tree and just start moving between them, okay? And you wanna try and move rather relatively fast and trying to land on them as you flick between them, okay? Now, if you find yourself starting on this tree and ending up over here, and then you go back and you end up over here and you're going past it every single time, that can mean that your sensitivity is a bit too high. You might wanna adjust it down. If you find yourself landing short and not getting the full distance between them, that can mean your sensitivity needs to be turned up a little bit more so that you're covering more ground as you're turning. Don't, don't stay on the same object the whole time. So you do a little bit here. Now let's find two objects here. So we'll go with these two trees. So from here to here. And you wanna to try to be as precise as possible so that you're landing on there 
and finding if you if you're overshooting or undershooting consistently okay and again keep finding different objects finds ones that are farther apart so these two trees right here are pretty close together so you can see i'm overshooting a little bit if i was a new player here and doing this i would probably adjust my sensitivity a little bit maybe i'll adjust my sensitivity even as a veteran but that's really how you can kind of zero in and find that comfort zone okay now we're in training grounds we can go in we can move around we can go after some bots and see how this sensitivity feels we can keep tweaking it until we feel really good with our sensitivity i do recommend once you feel comfortable stick with it for a couple days unless it feels awful unless something really bad is happening you know make sure that you're giving it a chance to register don't have just one bad gunfight and then change it that's really my tips uh, for finding your sensitivity and keybinds there. I hope this is useful for you and uh, you get in there and you turn into an aiming all-star in Siege in no time.